Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of Forbidden Deductions. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. But we're stuck inside with the killer. You gotta have really good aim on that. Maybe that's because when it opened up, but because when it was closed, that's why you didn't hear the multiple shots. Nothing. Boy, what in the dog on a rope? And it's gotta be um Ron's former master or sensei because the shadow is a little obvious. What are you doing? Yeah! I ain't that a little suspicious though. Even though you are a detective. Remember that.
Yeah, but the thing is, any one of them could have lied and taken the blame to Ron. That's the biggest issue. His friend. Also boyfriend, but friend. Say it again. Uh... So you you know you exactly thank you There you go And they're not coming in till the morning. Well, yeah, because we knew you didn't do it, Ron. Yeah. Yeah. You would have had blood marks. Mm hmm. Covered in blood. But see, hold on. What if she was killed an hour earlier and they just came back around one? shot the gunshot, ran back upstairs to be with everybody else, and then ran back downstairs.
<laughs> Why I feel like he about to die? Oh, okay, no fishing line. Let me tell you, in this situation, I would be super duper afraid to go to sleep. I like if, if that happened anywhere where I am. Um, I would be locking my doors, getting some window shutters and everything, and making sure and like, uh-uh. But like, we all sleeping in the same damn room tonight. I would just say family members and some friends that I care about. Everybody else, screw y'all. Mm -hmm. You're making a mess. Why did I say, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Oh no, he's still alive. Once he found that fishing line, that fishing wire, that was it for him. Not two people. But my thing is, how the fuck did he get on the roof? The fishing wire. Oh, hold up, he didn't do it! How? <laughs> Where the heck were y'all before he died?
Girl, how the hell are you gonna have a live stream when you might die? Has to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you are on the right foot. Right. He listening. That's what we want. <laughs> Somebody had night vision. Maybe. And when y'all came in, she was already on the floor. But somebody did, though. Oh, damn.
I mean, are we saying it's her? You know who did it? But are we going to find out or am I going to have to wait a week? I got to wait a week? Okay. 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 Uh, I'm fine. With waiting a week. I'm okay with that. But God, it was getting so good. I thought we were going to get the answer at the end of this episode. But now that we know that it wasn't Ron, the fishing line was used with the hula hoop. And it's not the idol. It's any one of these characters that we've all seen. But it does also make me wonder... Will we also get the answer in Grizzly? Because of the fact is we... Okay, clearly he got shot. And it's because typical, just like with anyone else in like any type of mystery, horror series, whatever. When someone does a little too much snooping, the killer ends up killing them because they're too close to finding out who did it and such. And so if Grizzly was in still alive in this situation, I think it would have been very easy excuse me, um, to find out the answer of who did it. But taking Grizzly out made it a little more difficult and such. And so I get the reason of why the mastermind or the murderer ended up killing him. It's a little, it's a fucked up move though, because I wasn't, I, out of everybody, I didn't think he was also going to die. You know how like when some characters have like, um, they, no matter what, they can't die. They have, like, that main character plot armor or just plot armor in general. And no matter what, they can't die. But because this is a murder mystery type series, yes, anyone can pretty much die. But at the same time, because of the fact is, I assumed that because he had a connection with Ron and he knew Ron before Ichiki came in, that he automatically had good ass plot armor and such that he was not going to die but I love the fact that they ended up twisting my words with that and ended up killing him because I'm thinking like yeah like you know yeah he about to die and, and then me thinking no nah, I don't think so and then seconds later or minutes later he dies and I'm like damn I hate when I'm right but I also love what I'm right <laughs> But honestly, this was a very interesting episode. But now, even now, I still don't really have any idea on who did it. Of course, they're doing it for the situation of the curse and everything that happened so many years ago and stuff. Because I'm guessing they were possibly related to one of the five or someone from so many years ago. So hopefully, um, an episode... <sighs> an episode nine... We do get more context into it next week, but of course we ain't going to know until then. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 8 of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Enjoy the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!